Hey folks, it is Chad here with Airstream of Greensboro. It is a beautiful sunny day here in North Carolina. The sun is right there if you can't tell. Now behind me, I have the 2023 Airstream Atlas. Now this is on the Mercedes cutaway chassis. It's also got two very special packages. The first is the new E1 package. The second is this one is equipped with Starlink. I'm gonna talk about both of those packages here in a second, but if you have any questions on the Atlas, if you wanna see the spe specifications for the Atlas motorhome or the E1 package, that is all gonna be in the description. Just click those links and it'll take you straight to the page that shows you all of that stuff as well as all of my contact information is below. Now, first thing we're gonna do is jump into a walk around video of the outside, the inside, then we'll talk about the E1 package and Starlink. Let's get started. Now, starting the outside walk around, I did run the awning in just cause it got a little bit windy out here and I'm not gonna be paying attention to that uh, to make sure that it's good. Now on the Mercedes cutaway chassis, it's gonna have basically every option from, from Mercedes. That's one thing Airstream always does. They wanna be best in class. The only way to really be best in class is to make sure you have every option. So this is gonna have the adaptive cruise. It's gonna have the lane departure assistance, the collision assistance, heated seats, heated steering wheel, memory seats, all of those types of things you're gonna have um, in the chassis. If it comes from Mercedes, if you can get the option, you're gonna get it. One other thing I wanna kinda point out is just how seamless this coach is. If you kind of notice, if you've not seen one in person, hopefully this will show up on video, but there are just, there's no seams really anywhere. And that is because Airstream spends a significant amount of time doing this body work and this paint work. So there's no seam there. There's no seam here where it connects right there. It's just smooth. That is giving you this tremendous sleek, uh, smooth look, automotive look on your class B plus motorhome. And if you're spending this kind of money for a motorhome like this, I think that's what you want. You want those clean lines, you want that sleek look, and you're gonna get that. Um, now the wheels are Alcoa aluminum wheels, uh, 16 inch wheels there. The step on this is also kind of a super cool feature. I'm not sure that this is being used um, anywhere else in the industry. It probably is, I just haven't seen it. Now what it will do, and I'm gonna kind of go in, there's a switch in here, right there if i switch that off it's now going to let the step go up and i close the door when it's switched on it holds the step so to give you an idea of what the step is going to look like when it goes up you see it folds into itself and then the whole step folds up and gives you this super clean uh, line going down the motorhome when you're going down the road it just looks really good and it looks you know befitting to a motorhome at this price point and then of course when you open it it's going to give you a little beep just to tell you hey something's happening watch out and then i can click this switch back on so the step stays out now what this step gives you is a flat floor on the inside and i'm going to put the murphy bed down to show you you know what that looks like but the big thing that this is giving you is this ability to walk around the bed because in a lot of motorhomes uh, you know that have this style mercedes chassis there's a step here and that step goes down into uh, the well to kind of give you a step to come out so there is there is an extra cost here to give you this flat floor in the motorhome but they're also giving you a, a really neat step as well and then you are going to have on the cutaway chassis with mercedes you are going to have some good storage outside that is your exhaust pipe there for the engine Open this up just so you can see that storage that is right there. There's uh, some good storage in this area, which is gonna be under your um, closet in the bathroom. Some additional storage right there, as well as a solar plug. If you wanna extend your solar out, this does have you know the standard solar package. Now, another area that you're gonna see that clean line is right here so there's there's no connection from the rear cap to the sidewall it's very smooth they do a lot of body work on that and paint work to give you just these super clean lines with the airstream atlas i love it there's a tow hitch right behind that little cover there you do have the integrated backup camera uh, into the light it's just a super good look uh, and i also like the small marker lights up there that are that look you know look like they fit there and it looked like they were planned. Um, you know, all of that's gonna be LED lights. You have your backup park, park sensors there to well inter integrate it as well. 
and then moving to this side you're gonna have your kind of i'm not going to call it a wet compartment but your compartment that has all of your different hookups so you've got your powers the 30 amp smart plug you've got your the first water valve is right there for that switch cable inlet you've got your city fill or city water line there and that does have the pressure regulator built into it you've got your outside shower that gives you hot and cold water and then this is going to have the awesome macerator pump uh, that's your black tank uh, or water inlet valve that's your fresh water uh, valve to go in there and then you've got your black your uh, macerator pump there but that's going to act kind of like a disposal it'll, it'll kind of ground everything up and then it will pump that out for you and there's a hose retract as well so that you pull that out set it up hit the buttons it does every, it does its thing runs everything out and then you hit the retract button and it pulls that back in for you and you have another solar connection there now this is going to have the diesel fire timber line system i'll talk more about that in a little bit but that is the exhaust pipe for that remember this does not have a generator on it because it has that e1 package and then it does have the slide room so this is the only coach that airstream offers that has a slide room and it's a murphy bed and i didn't mention i don't think it earlier but these doors all lock and unlock with the key fob so when you lock the coach with your key fob uh, to leave the coach it's also locking these doors as well and then moving uh, to the entrance so this is your gas fill here if you've ever seen anyone do a walk around of a sprinter van they're going to show you this where you can close the door fill your diesel so fumes aren't getting into the coach and then open the door and close this and then that is you know behind the driver's side door so when you lock that door uh, your fuel cover is also locked <clears throat> now kind of backing up just to give you this profile of the atlas uh, great lines very it's integrated it's just a good looking coach even that front cap there's no connection point uh, to where mercedes starts and airstream starts it's a beautiful coach if you haven't seen one of these in person definitely try to come out and see one uh, in person now i'm going to move to the inside and let's talk about some of the fantastic options that we have with the walk around of the inside now moving to the inside you do have a fantastic custom door that is built by airstream that just matches the coach perfect i also really like this airstream logo that is right there it does have a deadbolt lock there as well as your lock for your handle and it has a nice looking port window that does have an integrated uh, blind now moving up into the coach again flat floor here and as you turn into the coach the first thing you're going to see is your battery disconnect for the e1 package which i will talk about a little bit more in a second but that will disconnect the massive battery that is part of the e1 volta system there and then on the other side you're just going to have the tv lift and then that own or hold button and not hold button for your steps a little bit of storage in this area here that shelf is adjustable above that you're going to have part of your command system this is going to control the timberline system that is controlling the volta system which i'll show you in the system in a second that's mainly controlling your battery and then your firefly system is here now the firefly system will be able to control a lot of the things in the coach you can turn all your lights on and off you can dim uh, set up the cinema mode you can run your awning in and out your tv lift as well and then you can turn your hva system on now this will control the ac and the heat pump but not the furnace in the e1 package setup the timberline system is controlled on its own panel and then you can get into things like your different lights that you can turn on and off now on the gen section because it has the battery that is going to be controlled in the volta panel which i'll show you in a second and then you get into your hvac system and then you can run your slides awnings blinds are all controlled here as well and then of course the setting setup now moving to you here you've got a little bit of storage as well as plugs for plugging in things like dvd players blu-rays whatever it might be you do have a nice little light right there and then on this side this does have the air connect system 
on here as well as a Starlink system for this particular motorhome. Now, if that's going to continue happening in 2024, I, I can't really tell you that, but this particular motorhome has that. And remember, this is the one the Airstream used just to determine whether or not adding Starlink was going to be feasible. We'll sit down in the cab here in a second, but here's a good look of the cab, the Mercedes cab. And this, this is the updated one that started in, I think, 2020. Uh, and of course, we'll continue. You have another control panel here. So once you're in the bed at night, you don't have to jump up to get to the main one. You can turn things on, off, uh, on and off there. And then you do have a really nice couch. Remember, this is the Murphy setup. So the bed is back, back there. When you're, the bed's up during the day, you've got a really nice couch that reclines out. Um, it's very comfortable. And then across from that is going to be opposing a nice TV. And I can hit the TV up button. And that TV will, will come up on its own. It does have a JBL sound bar above. <laughs> Makes a little bit of noise. Needs a little bit of grease. And the thing I like about this pop-up TV, when you want to watch TV at night, you have a really nice smart TV. It's a Samsung TV. Uh, it's going to have fantastic quality. But when you don't want the TV, um, you don't want to watch TV, you retain your counter space. You can hit that down button and it will go down on its own. And this uh, going down it appears I do have to hold the down button to get it to go down. But I just love that um, you, when, you're, when you don't want to watch TV, this is a nice day, you just want to enjoy some coffee. You can run that TV down, the door, the little lid closes over top of it. And then now you have your, your window um, that you can, you can actually see the window because the TV is not taking up a spot. Now above, you're going to have some good storage above the TV. You're also going to have hidden behind here the modem for the Starlink system, which I'll talk a little bit more about in a second. Uh, the Atlas is going to have the convection microwave. I'll open that for you. It is a smaller, you know, little kind of hot pocket style microwave that a lot of travel trailers, in, you know, a lot of motorhomes get. And you do have the 12 volt refrigerator and freezer below. And then opposing that side, you're going to have your kitchenette. Now, the E1 package is going to change out a few things. You're not going to have any propane on this coach. So, this is a one fuel source coach. The so diesel is the only fuel that's on it. They swap out that gas stovetop with a true induction stovetop there. And then you'll have your undermounted stainless steel sink, a really nice residential faucet above. And they give you a little trash can there, which is a, I found out lately, a European design. You have a nice window behind that does have the blackout as well as daytime shades, uh, depending on which one that you want to use. Now that shade there is going to be manual. Your shade behind the uh, the bed there and the one that is over here is going to be powered within the Firefly system. You can control that there. There is some good storage here in the kitchen for a smaller motorhome. You're not sacrificing storage here. And anyway, a nice pull-out extension for the kitchen. And then pull out drawers. Of course, you have your silverware that organizer there that comes from Airstream. And then one more fully extending drawer as well. There's nice lights there that illuminate the floor at night as well as lights that will illuminate underneath uh, the countertop. Now, there is another spot here for a DVD player or Blu-ray with your connections to plug that in. There's also USB charging in there. And then behind that door is going to be your breakers and uh, fuses for the motorhome. There is a really nice sunlight here that is powered. It also has a daytime shade and a nighttime shade. So you can completely close that out if you'd like to. And then of course you can open that. It's powered, it's controlled within the uh, Firefly system. So you get some really nice air flowing in. And then it is an Airstream. It is the probably the, you know, the most expensive uh, product that Airstream offers. So you do have your QuietStream AC system in this motor room as well. So it's true ducted. You're, you're ducted at the inlet of the air conditioner. And then of course your the outlets of the air conditioner are ducted as well. And you have this beautiful aluminum roof or ceiling inside of 
uh, the Atlas motorhome. Now I'm gonna step into the bathroom and you'll just see a gorgeous, gorgeous Class C B Plus motorhome. Hello. You do have another control panel here that gives you the ability to control everything in the Firefly system from that one panel. And there's another one right here in the kitchen as well. So if walking all the way over to there or walking to there is too far in your Class B motorhome, no worries, you've got a control panel there. And if walking from there to inside the bathroom or out of the bathroom is too far, no worries, you have a control touch screen there and a control touch screen right there. Now moving into the bathroom, um, oh yeah, I didn't mention, this is the new uh, Canyon interior color choice that is new for 2023. You got a nice pocket door, sliding door, that has the super cool port window that does have the privacy shade in there. And I like where the toilet paper holder is in conjunction to the commode. And there's plenty of room with that commode. I'm not gonna step um, sit down on that one. There's plenty of room. You do have a nice little storage section right here above as well as the towel rack. There is a really nice Dometic Fantastic style fan uh, above and then also one over at the kitchen area. And then you have a super nice shower here with the wood trim as well. It's just beautiful. Great storage built right in there. And then you have the um, removable or movable shower head so you can move around. And then the other thing I really like, I hope this shows up on camera, is the illumination lights that run the edges of the shower. You have a nice, beautiful aluminum detail there at the sink in the bathroom. And of course there is some storage underneath and another light that will ha that has a motion sensor. So it can light up at night for you as you walk into the bathroom. A little bit more storage here and there is a nice medicine cabinet there behind the mirror. That's very late, laid out really well with some organization there. You do have 110 power, stainless steel under mounting sink and you do have solid surface countertops uh, inside the bathroom. You have a very nice cedar lined closet with adjustable shelves. And then beside that, you're gonna have a really nice wardrobe. It does have a shelf that you can remove or move up and down if you want to. Of course, pull that out and you're gonna have a really nice wardrobe with the cedar lined back. And you do have two full extension drawers that are underneath that section of the wardrobe. And then one thing I just noticed that I miss, missed while I was in the kitchen is going to be this really nice pull-out uh, pantry that Airstream gives you. Uh, four shelves there. Those are adjustable as well. And then you've got a little bit of your cereal box storage right there. It's about what that is good for. And then moving back around. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the Murphy bed down for you. I'll show you what that looks like. And then we'll get into talking about the E1 package and Starlink for Airstream. Now starting talking about the couch here in the Murphy bed, the couch is very nice, excellent leather. Uh, the ultra leather that you have here, they also wrap the uh, your main captain's chairs as well. Airstream rewraps all of these. Uh, I did also want to mention that you do have the air ride suspension in the back on the Atlas. You're also gonna get that on this Interstate 24 uh, GT and 24 GL. There is a control system for that. You can raise and lower the back of the coach if you need to. It's also gonna just really help the ride of this coach to give you one of the quietest riding uh, Class B uh, motorhomes in the industry. There's not a whole lot that you have to do with this. It will kind of manage itself and keep everything level, but you do have the ability to do some control um, with it. And that's stored right beside the captain's chair for the driver. Now the couch itself, the recliner part, the footrest that is powered, so you don't have to do anything you know, with that. Now, one thing that I've noticed, and I've not really seen where I can lay this back any, so you're not going to be able to lay back like you might in a recliner uh, in your house, uh, something like you know the couch that I have. You know, the whole seat reclines back. Now, this is comfortable. The seat is very comfortable as well. You have a recliner on that side. Um, you can, however, roll back the whole back rest a bit and we find that's that button right here so if i have that recliner out i can you know can run the recliner out i can run this back a little bit 
but it's the whole the whole couch is going to move right so when i move that when i'm laying this back both seats are going to lay back a little bit um, so you do have a little bit of a, the ability to roll this back for comfort and then of course that's powered now when you're putting this down the first thing you're going to do that same switch that i used to run to start kind of putting this back a little bit you're going to run this all the way down and it's going to fold flat so theoretically this could be a bed right here wouldn't be a very comfortable bed so you would want something else right there is this little grab here for you to be able to grab onto now th there is a latch there so you're going to grab that latch and then once you get it going um, the latch goes out of place and then of course you do want to move these cushions here that are on each side put that there and then this is just going to sit down and it's going to give you a really nice large bed now let me grab the camera because i want to show you what the walking looks like in this section i just popped out in my wide lens now you can see here when i'm walking around at night because i need to go to the restroom not a problem i've got plenty of room to get around i can also walk right around here i've got power for anything i might need at night as well as usb charging integrated right into the side uh, of the couch you've got plenty of room to be able to walk around here and get to the restroom at night if you you know, need to make that restroom stop while you're uh, sleeping at night you also have that usb charging on this side i don't see a 110 outlet available in this section here there is the 110 that is just above the kitchen area uh, for all of your devices that you might need there now putting this away is also easy so i'm going to set the camera back down real quick make sure that shot looks good now all i have to do is pick up and i can pop this little latch back out here and it goes right into place now before i put that into place i did want to point out just what the back looks like now that folds let me grab the camera again now this folds down to kind of hide everything now you can put all your pillows and things back in that area you do have some nice storage a nice window that blind is controlled uh, it's autumn it's powered it's controlled within the fire the firefly system you have reading lights down here as well and a little bit more storage on the other side and then of course great lighting above that you can turn on and off with the firefly system now as far as putting this away set that down now you're going to lift this up you do have straps to hold everything on but to lift this up once it gets into its upright position it's going to lock back into place so you can't take it out without pulling that lever on that side so i'll put away the little latch there put this latch away or just the handle to pull on and then just going to hit the opposite on the power that runs back up into place and then grab my cushion cover Put that there and put this one here and i'm back to my daytime time um, set up to where i can have breakfast have a cup of coffee and enjoy the day the bed's out of the way so now i have this really nice large motorhome that feels huge but i'm not losing the really nice bed or having to use like a jackknife bed or something like that there's a spot for a table here both of these chairs will rotate around and there's another spot for a table right there as well now i'm going to jump to the uh, cockpit here show you all the features that comes with the mercedes and then we'll talk about the e1 package and starlink all right let's go now i'm in the driver's seat here i'm going to move kind of stand up just to give you more of an angle so you have a really nice and that's going to flicker in the video but it's obviously not flickering in real life but a lot of good information that you can use there now i love the steering wheel with the mercedes you've got the ability to control your your infotainment with this little touch button here you can go back home and then go backwards you've got your volume you know, your siri button your phone call start a phone call end a phone call and then there's a favorites button there and volume here in the middle it's just a really nice um kind of dial that rolls up on the other side this one is going to control your center infotainment that's right there 
not center infotainment, but the uh, center uh, screen on your, your cluster. You have a home button for it, an on off button for your adaptive cruise. You've got the ability to you know go back to your speed, set, uh, see, increase your speed for your adaptive cruise, decrease your speed for your adaptive cruise, and then cancel it. This is going to control the, the spacing between the vehicle that you're following. Now it does have powered seats. That is, see, we get an angle right there. And then you have three position memory seats. That's your lock and unlock button, as well as your heated seat switches right there. You've got your windows and powered mirrors there. And then on the other side, I'll show you that. So much sunlight coming in. But heated seats are there and your memory seats, powered seats. And one of the things I like about the memory seats that I mentioned, you've got, as a, like I said, you've got three. The first one would be, you know, your passenger, the person who's always in the passenger seat. The second one is going to be, you know, the person who probably generally drives, um, but occasionally rides in the passenger seat. But the third one is great because when you flip this seat around, you can set up that third memory seat to be the position of where you want this seat to be once it's flipped around. So it's kind of a neat option that you have there. And then you have your HVAC controls there. It is auto as far as temperature and, and um, you have fan controls there, temperature controls, and you can set auto AC. That's your hazard lights right there. Max A or max um, uh, defrost. And then this has that fancy uh, windscreen or windshield that has the uh, defrost built into it. So there's little lines, if you look really close, little lines running all the way down the uh, the windshield. And when you click that on, it just almost immediately clears off any, any fog that you might have. This does have the backup camera that's added, and that will be both your backup camera and your rear view camera, a rear view mirror when you're driving down the road. Now the infotainment on this is excellent. It is Mercedes. It has the Hey Mercedes technology, and it's going to pop up because I had I said Hey Mercedes. And you can tell it to give you directions, change the temperature, make a phone call, uh, set it to a particular radio station. It's an excellent system. Um, I really have enjoyed using it. This also has your Apple CarPlay and your Android Auto. And as far as the plugs for that, they're going to be hidden up here. So that first USB-C plug is going to be for your Apple CarPlay and your audio the other two are going to be just for power there is a wireless charge mat right here as well and if you just want to stick your phone in there for charging you can do that and then of course if you plug it in to the infotainment that's also going to charge uh, your phone as well as give you the apple carplay capabilities you've got the phone section here uh, of course once you connect a device you can have two phones connected at one time and flip between the two phones. You can make phone calls here, accept phone calls, send text messages, all those types of things that you would normally do just in an Apple CarPlay. Again, the navigation is really works really good. It's what you see in Mercedes. A lot of the Mercedes vehicles, of course, we're here in Colfax, North Carolina, where the Airstream of Greensboro store is. And then the radio. Uh, now, this has um, a, the Sirius XM radio as well as FM and AM. It's a really nice looking system. And of course, the other thing I really like is if I use my thumb here, I'm just gonna use my thumb to move this around. And as you can see, I'm moving around the whole, the whole thing and I'm not even touching the screen. So you have the ability to control this infotainment um, without ever taking your hands uh, off your steering wheel. I love that about it. I uh, already did radio. And then media is gonna be from your phone, your connected Bluetooth devices. So Bluetooth or USB. And then infotainment is, or info, excuse me, is gonna give you information about the coach itself, so engine consumption, and there's a, a section for the owner's manual. And then there are other apps that you can download and use. There's a browser and then smartphone if you have that. And then general settings for uh, the motorhome itself. I do think it's funny that it has a Sprinter chassis, uh, like a 2500 chassis in there um, for the coach, but you have your all your different settings for your quick access, your assistance, uh, vehicle, lighting, lights, and then general uh, systems, uh, displays, controls, all that type of stuff. So quite a really good infotainment. This is part of the new um, up, upfit that Mercedes did with the 2020 model year, I believe. 
Uh, it's a fantastic system, significantly better than what we saw with 2019 and going backwards. Again, you have a button here, hard button for cameras, hard button for maps, hard button for radio and the telephone. You have a hard button for home, uh, a mute and power button. Uh, that is going to take you to your uh, quick access. And then there is a button for uh, forward and backwards. Volume button is a little toggle switch right here. And of course, you also have the volume button that is on the steering wheel itself. Fantastic steering wheel. I really like it. You've got some storage here for the passenger as well as storage down in the door. That's going to be hard to see just with the light, the sun coming in. Four cup holders across here. You do get four keys from, from Mercedes. I'm not exactly sure why that is the case, but you did. Oh, hey, Mercedes, I'm not talking to you. Uh, that system does work really good, I found. Um, now, as far as your drive and park, so your drive and park is here. Down is going to go into drive. Up one goes into neutral, up again is going to go into reverse, and then there's a little button here on the end that puts it into park. And then on the other side, you're going to just have your turn single, windshield wipers, um, your high and low beam option right there, and then window washing is on the end as well. It does have a little flappy paddle, so the way that you control your gearbox is with the flappy paddles there. These are made out of plastic, um, and I do like that you have the miles per hour there and you have a tachometer, I think that's a ta or RPM gauge there. And then of course you've got the ability to make, to see a lot of things here in the middle uh, screen. It gives you the, the uh, speed limit, the temperature outside and time, all, all those kinds of things. So that is the cockpit of the Mercedes. And one thing I do wanna say about the seats, now they are super soft. You do have thigh extension there. Um, this is adjustable as well. There's not one on both sides. There's a little bit of an armrest right there. And of course that can go up out of the way. These seats are super soft, incredibly comfortable. I did, I've done a little bit of driving, uh, in the Airstream interstate as well as the new Airstream range line. And I will say 100% these seats are way more comfortable, especially for long drives, um, than say the range line, uh, or just eat really any motorhome that's out there. That's an excellent seat. And I love the aluminum eng engrave of Airstream right there as well. Of course, the headrest adjusts, adjusts as well. And your seatbelt, you can adjust the height. Now, above, you've got an, an, another radio. The reason this radio is here is so you're able to play tunes when you have the engine and the cockpit turned off. Because the, that radio would be turned off. So they give you another radio there. There's some storage up above. Of course, you've got the fold-down mirror there. And then same thing on the other side, and you've got some additional controls with your map lights, uh, reading lights, uh, dome light, uh, it's like door off there, and then you can unlock the lock or a phone, and then there's no buttons there. Your SOS button is right here in the middle, uh, right there. So very nice system. Behind here is going to be all your safety cameras, sensors, all that kind of stuff behind the, um, the backup camera there, and you actually see... Uh, the backup camera and, and it's it's work now we'll say the pro master version of this is really nice um so that that they probably win on that but i like i mean this is useful it does exactly what it needs to do the infotainment is fantastic i really do like it it's just like touching an ipad very responsive uh, especially for a, a motorhome we're not used to seeing technology that is quite this nice so i'm going to switch around and talk a little bit about the e1 package and the uh, new Starlink setup. Now, as I mentioned, this does have the E1 package. So there's no generator on board. It's gonna have a large lithium battery. You have a true induction cooktop in place of the propane. And then you don't have any propane on board. So it's a one fuel source coach. And it's gonna give you the Timberline uh, system for your hot water and your furnace. And that runs off of diesel, so it's going to pull from the same tank that your your got your diesel engine pulls from. And then, in place of the generator, you're going to have a huge battery pack. It's actually a 12,000 watt lithium battery. Uh, the cell is the same cells that Mercedes uses. Uh, you'll have a built-in battery disconnect, which I showed you a second ago or earlier. And of course, as the Timberline 2.0 diesel-fired uh, hydronic heating system. You have an 1100 watt single burner induction cooktop, a 3200 watt pure sine wave inverter, 
two 30 amp DC to DC converters, and then a secondary 51 volt 6900 watt alternator um, to charge that battery. And then you have a Victron uh, 100 to 20 solar charge controller. Now this panel here is going to control your Volta system. And in the middle, it's going to give you a state of charge, which we're almost 100%. It's going to give you time remaining. So we have seven, as we're using the coach right now, which is basically just every single light in the coach is turned on. The Firefly system is turned on. So as I'm, as I'm sitting right here, it's giving me an estimate of 76 hours of battery. That is incredible. And I'm sure if I turned on like the, you know, it's a, it's not a very hot day today. So if I turned on just the, one of the fantastic fans, you know, it, it would be, it, it probably wouldn't change that much at all. Gives you the amount of wattage that you've got flowing out. And in the current time, the next section is just going to give you some control for changing some settings you probably aren't going to need to get into here very often the next button is going to be your inverter now this is the one that you're going to probably use occasionally now it's going to you're going to select what kind of power you've got coming in you'll turn your inverter on and off and in this case the battery is charged so i can turn the inverter off because i don't need it to be on now one thing to know about this system is to charge the battery off of shore power meaning that I've got plug, I'm at a campground plugged into the park, the inverter has to be on. That is the part of the system that actually controls or charges that humongous battery that's underneath the coach where the generator would normally be. And then the next button is gonna, gonna turn that turn the screen off. Now, like I said, for the, char the battery to charge with the shore power, you'll need to have the inverter on, you turn that on there. Once it's on, it will actually tell you here that it's charging from shore power. It will also tell you here, right across there, that it's charging from shore power. I don't think it will tell us that now because uh, I've got the battery charged. Um, now that inverter, as I mentioned, is a 3200 watt inverter. That will allow you to run everything in this coach, including the AC, off of the battery pack. So this is a true off-grid coach because you got a 3200 watt inverter. That's only 1100 watts there in the true induction. So you can cook off of that battery. You can run the AC off of that battery. Um, you're also able to you know, run lights. And with the, the hydronic system that you have through Timberline, you're also able to run your furnace and your hot water because that energy is coming off of the diesel. That battery disconnect is there. Now for you to get power, uh, from that battery and to charge to that battery that switch has got to be on that is a physical um an actual switch that is turning off or disconnecting the battery from the rest of the system now there's two components to this system i'll show some photos and throw some things up on the screen and there's two components to this system that will give you um basically the battery is one part of that and then the control box is the other part of that and you'll see that kind of in the system in the photos i show you the control box is going to have all of your in, your inverter your charge controller all of that kind of stuff built into it now to talk about starlink a little bit i'm going to show some video of it uh, inside the coach here as you saw earlier there's, there's the actual modem itself now there's a power connection to that and there is a um a, a cable that goes up to the actual satellite itself those cables are um, cables that have to come from Starlink. Now, on, from my understanding, on the travel trailers and the non-Atlas touring coaches, so the Rangeline, Interstate 19, Interstate 24, uh, GT and GL, the, Air, the Starlink is going to be pre-wired for the 2024 model year. And we don't have a lot of information currently about 20, 2024. We probably won't have that for a little bit longer, but as soon as we do, I'm going to make a video about the differences between the 23 and 24 model year. So be sure to subscribe just so you can see. Uh, as soon as I post that video, you'll be able to see that and watch it and just see what's going to happen with the 2024 model year. Now, I do know, based off what I'm being told from Airstream, the travel trailers and, and the touring coaches outside of the Atlas will be pre-wired for Starlink, but the components for Starlink won't be there, so the satellite and the modem. Um, but you have the wiring. And then that means that you can have the dealership, uh, your dealership, so my dealership will install it for you. We've already been doing training with our techs in the back on Starlink and how to install Starlink. So we're we're basically ready for that to come uh, for that for that to come to us. So 2024 to be pre-wired, the Atlas is going to be standard. It's going to come on the Atlas is what we're being told. Now, 
at this point, I think anything could change. It could it could be a situation where you know between now and and when they release the info in 2024, you know it might be standard on everything. But I think it's at least going to be pre-wired, and I'm not suspecting that that they're going to change it to be like a standard type of thing. It's going to be pre-wired, like air connected, and then be something that we can add on for you at the dealership. Now, as far as pricing goes, what we're seeing currently, and this is probably going to change as well. Right now, it's like around $110 a month for the Starlink uh, access, and then you have to pay an additional fee that's like $25 a month, somewhere around there, for the portability of uh, Starlink, meaning that as you travel across this, the uh, country, you've got to tell Starlink where you're at. Um, so that cost is $25. And then you're going to have kind of a one-time fee that we're seeing right now that's around $600, and then for all of the equipment for the vehicle in motion, so the modem, the, Star, the Starlink satellite, and I guess cabling, all that stuff is going to be priced around $2,500. So it's not a cheap system, but if you're wanting the ability to be connected virtually anywhere in the country, whether you're boondocking somewhere, which the E1 package is perfect for that, or uh, you know, you're know you're just going from state to state and you want to make sure, hey, I want to have, no matter where I'm going, I need to be connected to the internet, I need to be able to work. I need to be able to make phone calls. I need to be able to FaceTime with family, whatever you know that might be. You know, Starlink is going to give you that. Now, I do want to say that Air Connected, which has been out for a bit now, and everything is pre-wired for that as well. That system works really good, and I have a few customers that that are full-time uh, Air Streamers, and they use Air Connected for their internet source. They work full-time, uh, and from they're telling me. They've not been anywhere in the country, and they've been out west, north, south, you know, kind of all over. I mean, not everywhere, but kind of all over the country with the air-connected system, and they've not had any problems. She's been able to work remotely from anywhere they are. Uh, she wasn't able to even give me an instance of where that system didn't work for her. So that's a much cheaper system to, to buy and have installed versus Starlink, but Starlink is going to probably give you more high-speed internet uh, more consistent and uh, in more places than probably the air connected LTE type setup will will give you. But the cool thing with Airstream now is you have the option to have either. You know, with 2024, you're going to be pre wired for both, and you pick which one you want. And you could go with the air connected, and and if you want to come back later and switch over to Starlink, you'll be able to do that too. So it's really neat that we were able to get this Atlas um, in 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 the at the dealership. Now it's going to a new home real soon. But this was the one that, that Airstream used to determine whether or not they would be able to do Starlink uh, kind of the way that they were wanting to do it. So it's kind of neat that we got to see that and we have it here. I was able to make a video on it. And then also that this is the E1, the new E1 package. And the e new E1 package is really cool. Uh, you know, if you're in a in a spot where the, you can't have any noise, so you can't run a generator, and you've got a full battery um, with that 12,000 uh 12,000 watt um, lithium battery pack, you know, you're running everything off that battery pack. And as, as you saw it there, you know, it's showing 70 plus hours as we're sitting right now. And I've got every single light in the coach on that I don't even need to have all these lights on. Um, and, you know, we've got 70 hours of battery left on that, that lithium pack. Uh, so it's a cool system now. It is not cheap uh, if you want to add the E1 package. And right now you can put the E1 package on the interstate 19 the interstate 24 gt and gl and the atlas it is not currently offered for the range line which the range line kind of has its own uh, hybrid battery uh, generator slash timber line gasoline fired system uh, be sure to watch my video on the range line if you're interested in that system so it's kind of a hybrid system uh, or in itself already but i do feel like at some point airstream is going to add uh, a e1 package or e1 variant for the range line as well maybe not but i kind of feel like that's probably going to happen but right now e1 is available on the interstates and is available on the atlas as a option and it would be something you'd probably order uh, i don't think we'll stock a lot of e1 uh, of the uh, e1 package motorhomes just in you know regular stock inventory uh, i think it'll be something that you probably order uh, to get that package in there because it is a costly package. You know, you're, you're 20, 20,000 or so uh, dollars to add the E1 package on with the everything that kind of gets changed. Uh, if you have any questions about E1 or you have any questions about uh, the Starlink system or the Atlas, 
uh, be sure to reach out to me. I'm happy to help as much as I can. And if there's something that I don't know, I'll let you know. I mean, if you've watched any of my videos, I kind of just tell you I don't know something. Um, and then a lot of times the Airstream community will throw into the comments what I didn't know. But if it's a question that I don't know and, and you need the answer, I'll also just go ahead and call the factory for you and, and get the answer straight from them as well. So my con contact information is below. Thank you for watching this video and just spending a little bit of time with me with the 2023 Atlas and the E1 Packers and Starlink. I think this is such a cool thing. It's so neat that I got to make a video of it. I hope it was informative and you enjoyed it. And other than that, um, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk soon. Thanks. Bye.